Hello everybody and welcome to part 5, yes, 5 of Sector 5, the real story. I will once again turn you over to my colleague, Bo Becker. Welcome back, everybody. There's nine more people left. And, uh, enjoy Sector 5, the real story, as we pay tribute to my son, Freddie Michael Heinzman, who made this all possible. But welcome back, and we are starting out with the second to last diva I've made on here. I've got a lot of superstars, not a lot of divas, because, I don't know, even though I'm... I've known to know a lot of girls, I've got barely any divas on here. But the person that's coming out now is my friend Luke, who you saw earlier, Luke Skywalker, or the also known as the Professor. This is his ex-girlfriend. I got a lot of exes on this thing. But she comes out with the motions of The Miz without a title. And she chose this all herself, I didn't do this. She comes out with the champion entrance of Beth Phoenix. Both multi-title and with one title. And uh, as MVP music. And she is currently women's champion. So I will show you her entrance as women's champion. And as I said, I'm underneath of uh, uh, previews. So it shows her as the world heavyweight champion. She's not the World Heavyweight Champion. But introducing to the ring at this time... Dynamite! You know, like Hawkman. I, didn't, I don't think I told you her real name. Her name is actually Dorothy in real life. But coming up next is one of Luke's brothers. I call him the Wolf because I was having fun one day. I put bunny ears, so I called him the Bunny. Then I cut. Then somebody started copying me, so I changed it to hamster, and then eventually progressed to wolf, as you can see in my nickname there on the bottom. But he comes out without any titles, Ted DiBiase. He comes out with the championship as Drew McIntyre. He comes out like Randy Orton as two-time title as holds two titles, and he comes out with the music of Shelton Benjamin. I cannot. I don't think of, he has ever held a championship yet. So, here it comes. This match is set for one fall. Introducing the ring from West Virginia. The dog. <laughs> <coughs> I'm yelling and everything, so that's probably what's making my cough a little worse. I am not sick, ladies and gentlemen. This is some awesome music, too. I wish I would have seen Shelton Benjamin in action. But as I said earlier, this may be our last episode. But it might not. All depends on how fast everything goes. We may need to go to part six. Okay, I'm sorry, there's one more 
created person that's random. I forgot about that person. It's not this one, but there is one more. I get random sometimes. But this one is the other brother of Luke Garrison. His name is real life is Daniel. The other one's Matthew. I don't think I told you that. But he comes out with the motions of Rey Mysterio. Championship entrance. He comes out like, woo, woo, woo. You know it, Zack Ryder. Take care, spike your hair. Multi-title entrance is John Morrison. You know, the king of parkour. With the music of The Miz. And he has never been champion either. This match is set for one fall. Introducing to the ring from West Virginia. Mr. Amazing. The next guy is Dorothy's brother, Caleb. I don't know much about him. And so I, I just know his name. But that's who it's going to be. It's Caleb. And he currently is the million dollar champion. He, and he has also held the United States Championship. But he comes out with the motions of Evan Bourne without a title with a title like he does now he comes out like woo 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 you know it's Zack Ryder the king of parkour John Morrison with two titles and he comes out with the music of JTG so I will show you how he comes out now I will not show you the title of course because this is underneath the creating modes as I said he's million dollar champion not world heavyweight champion but Introducing to the ring from West Virginia, the million dollar champion, the gangster. Okay, this is the last, and yes, last created person that is random. Just randomly out there. But I got bored one day, and thanks to our truth we keep saying, Little Jimmy, Little Jimmy this, Little Jimmy that, I got bored. So, I made Little Jimmy. He comes out with the motions of John Cena. As a champion, he comes out like our truth Two-time champion, he comes out as John Cena. It comes out to the music of our truth. <coughs> Little Jimmy has yet to be champion yet. <coughs> but he he's a pretty good superstar. But introducing to the ring. From I don't remember where. He was also chosen out of random, so I don't remember. 
the hardcore icon. If you didn't notice, I made him out of all the different colors of John Cena's attire. I put, there's a little, uh, like, logo on the bottom of his shirt that says Hustle, Loyalty, and Respect. But now we come to another guy who I've known all my life. My Uncle Dwayne. And I was wrong about the number of divas back Dorothy was. She's the third to last diva I have. I forgot about one other diva that I had on here. But Uncle Dwayne comes out like Triple H, your COO. He comes out if he's a champion which, as Sheamus. Multi-title entrance, he comes out like the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, The Rock. And he comes out to the music of Sheamus. He has yet to be champion yet. <coughs> and his is going to take a while. So I'm guessing there will be a part six. But this match is set for one fall. Introducing to the ring from Ohio. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. I don't remember. The Barbarian. I wanted to make him sound tough. Urgh. But there are three superstars left after him. And they will be on part six. Because six is definitely like this. And folks, with this one starting to run low, we will see you on the final episode of Sector 5, The Real Story. <laughs> 